guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a massive book haul. I have been saving all of these books that I have behind me. I'm like sweating from moving them around and trying to film my thumbnail. Um, it's... <laughs> gonna be okay but I would like to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video to talk about the first book I have to share with you thank you so much to Wattpad Books for sponsoring this video I am so excited that Wattpad reached out to sponsor me because I've heard so many things about Wattpad I've read some stuff on Wattpad I think it's so fun that they have their own publishing now where they're coming out with books and I know a lot of popular authors had their start on Wattpad so I love that they support authors who are starting their writing journey and so the first book I'm hauling is Creatures of the Night by Grace Collins I'm actually like like 40 literally 40 pages from the end I stopped at such a crazy part and I'm like no I have to film this now so I have time to film it while I light out but I really want to just sit and finish the book because I was really into this conflict that was brewing in here and now this is actually a paranormal romance which made me very excited to read this book I haven't read enough paranormal romances lately because I just had the historical romance readathon and I usually save my paranormals for fall but I am loving being back in a paranormal romance this does have a lot of different things in it and so I love that they have shifters in it. Shifters are one of my favorite things. Our main character Melina is part of this group of people and she never knew her parents and she's kind of ostracized but she has a couple friends but she doesn't understand why people hate her. She's gonna turn 20 soon. There were a lot of surprising things in here that really were keeping me on the edge of my seat. I had no idea who to trust, what people really were. There are a lot of secrets regarding the paranormal aspect which I love. There's also a really really slow burn romance in here that I was really a fan of. I really love how the romance is playing out and I'm very nervous for the ending of this book and I hope the author is writing more in this world because I only have 40 pages left and I was like oh my gosh like what is gonna happen. It is really good so far. I really like how there are a lot of characters that Melina is becoming friends with but then she also literally has no idea who she can trust in this world and she is trying to survive and that's all I can say. She definitely grows so much as a character because she is used to just being docile and following orders in the beginning and now she's really grown into her own so she does definitely go on a personal journey and she's trying to train and fight and I love it when our heroines are fighting in my romances. There's just a lot that goes on in here and it's definitely very an interesting paranormal world that's very unique because there are some creatures too that I've never heard of before so I'm really enjoying getting to know that and understanding what the end gives game is here which is very interesting to me but I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to spoil it but it is available now so check out the link in my description box down below to check out this book definitely check this out if you like a good paranormal romance with shifters a slow burn romance lots of action check out my link down below and thank you so much to Wattpad for sponsoring this video I have a lot to get through so hang in there with me I have lots of things that I've bought because Target had their sale if you were on Instagram or a couple of people have even posted their Target book hauls I have a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it I do have a couple book boxes to show you as well, so I'm going to get to those in a second because they're they're over there, so I'm not going to get to them yet. But the first one is One Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling. Gianna actually sent this to me as a thank you for reading and also because I was doing the Mafia Romance Readathon and was giving away a copy, so she sent one for me as well. It's Mafia Romance. I absolutely love this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, so definitely check it out because book 2 just released yesterday, the day I'm filming this, and so it's like last week, the day you guys are seeing this, but I am so excited to have this. So uh, yeah, she's a lawyer. He is in the Mafia, so very good. A lot of my books are out of order because I've been like grabbing them and using them for things. So I did buy this off of Facebook from someone with another book that's lower in the stack. But it's Twisted Pride by Cora Riley. I got this for like $5 from someone. They sold me the two books for like $12 and I was like, this is amazing. And so this one is also actually signed by Cora. This is my favorite in the series. Again, it's a mafia romance. This one is with the couple of the Kimura and he kidnaps the heroine. She's from a rival family and they fall in love. So one of my favorites of the series, so happy to have in paperback. The next three from the Target sale, I did place three separate orders, don't judge me, and so the first one is Block Shot by Kennedy Ryan. This is book three in the series, the Hoop series, it's either two or three. I think it's three. Mm, maybe it's two. So this one I actually never finished reading because it was so depressing and I could not read it and that point, you know, like you had to be in the mood for something that's really emotional and like Kennedy's books are really emotional and so I had put it down and I never picked it back up. So I have to read it. These are very emotional sports romances. They are basketball romances. So I definitely have to pick this one up soon. I will. 
but I'm excited I have the paperback of this. I also got A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.E. Tucker. This one is a fantasy romance, and I might bring this on vacation. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I'm going on vacation the week that you're seeing this. I'll be on vacation, and I'm very excited. I'm going to the beach, and I really want to read this. I don't know what it's about, though. I just know it's fantasy. I don't want to read too much about the synopsis going in. My sister did try reading this, and it was too slow of a beginning for her that she put it down, so hopefully it's not too slow for me, but I know it's got vengeful gods and monsters, and I know there's romance, so I'm excited. I also got a copy of All Roads Here by Marianne Zapata. This one, I don't even know what it's about. So it says, losing people you love is hard, and Aurora knows moving back to a place that was once home isn't going to be easy, and she said starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be, and a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart, and checking out her landlord across the driveway just might cure it too. So I guess she's back home, I think. I just love this cover so much, and she's gonna fall in love with her landlord. I haven't seen a lot about this, but I asked Lacey if I should get this one or hands down and she told me to get this one because she liked it better and I know my sister read hands down and didn't like it so but I can't trust my sister she's very 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 hard to please I'm easier to please than she is when it comes to books so I'm excited to have this then I also with Twisted Pride got this copy of Brutal Prince I had never seen it before by Sophie Lark I recently read it last month and I absolutely loved it and so I saw this it's from Dangerous Romance Club box and they were selling it for like six dollars and I was like oh yes thank you and I can't give you guys a link to these Facebook groups because they're already super full and they don't like let anybody into them so I would just do your own research looking on Facebook for buy sell groups for books and that's how I found them so I'm really excited to have this and the, those deals never come up often for me like this is like oh not often I get like amazing deals for these but that's a mafia romance as well um they're from rival mafias and have to have an arranged marriage I also from someone on Facebook bought Long Way Down by Kristen Becker Ritchie I bought this version because I love Reich on the cover I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Reich oh yeah duh, it says live in the moment with Reich Meadows but I just love this cover so much and they changed their covers I really don't like the new covers I was okay with like the covers of like the guys on the cover but they've recently changed the addicted covers like the I think it was the Callaway sister series they redid the covers and I don't don't mind those covers but they redid the addicted covers with just like items on the cover and I'm not the biggest fan of those but I love the original ones so I'm excited to have this one I have to continue with the addicted series I haven't yet but then I'm really really intrigued by this book so I was sent from source books an arc it comes out in October of the vanished days by Susanna Kearsley I know people say if you like Outlander you should check out her books this is actually blurbed by Diana Gabaldon too and it takes place in Scotland so it's autumn of 1707 and old enemies from the Scottish Highlands to the borderlands are finding common ground as they join the protests of the new union with England and so there's gonna be an invasion so Queen Anne sent Money up from London for Scots who took part eight years earlier in uh, the Darien expedition that left Scotland all but bankrupt which I guess is what that thing was before and a young widow comes to camp collect her husband's portion of the money and her claim is dubious so the man assigned to investigate now has to determine if she's telling the truth Ooh, and there's stuff about justice lost love and a nation betrayed this sounds really good like I typically don't read just historical fiction but it's Scotland you guys know I love Scotland I love Outlander. I've gotten to go to Scotland and I'm obsessed. So I'm really excited to read this one. Hopefully it's good. It's super long. Well, not too long. It feels long. It's only 450 pages, but I'm super excited to have this. All right. So then from Target, I also ended up getting these two plus Leah Johnson's new book, which actually releases today. So hopefully Target sends my package today because I'm really excited for her new book. But I ended up getting King of Scars and Rule of Wolves because I like everybody else, have been watching Shadow and Bone and I really love the show and I read the first book before the show came out and I really enjoyed it and I've read Six of Crows and I really enjoy it and I think that these have like different characters in them and they're in the Grishaverse so I want to have these because I eventually want to get to them who knows when but they were really cheap they were the same price as they were on Amazon but they also had the buy three for the price of two and I'm trying not to buy on Amazon too much so I'm excited for these then the amazing Serena Ackroyd sent me her entire five point mob boss collection series I think it's also considered the filthy fecker series these are all mafia romances and I'm so so excited to have these I read filthy and I thought it was just so 
okay. I think I gave it three stars, but during the live show that I did with Lacey on Ravished by Romance, we picked Filthy to read, and everybody was saying two, three, and four, because I think five just released, so not a lot of people have read it, but they were all saying, like, two's my favorite, no, three's my favorite, no, four's my favorite, and so I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy the other characters once I get to them, so I'm really excited to continue on with the series. Serena was just very thankful that we chose her book for our book club, which I think is just amazing that she was excited, and it made me really excited to read these, and so she sent the entire series my way. I think she also sent Lacey the entire series, too. I just asked for one. She's like, can I send you a book as a thank you? And I was like, of course. And I was like, if you want to go ahead and send me book two, I would love to have a physical copy and read it. Thank you for the offer. And then she just sent me all of them. She's like, well, once you read one, you're going to want to read the next and the next. So I just gave you all of them. So thank you so much to Serena. You are amazing. And I'm excited to read more of this series. They're mafia romances. And I'm excited to read more. Why don't we, oh, well, I'm going to get to these two. So I've, I've been buying a lot of mafia romances, if you couldn't tell. So I ended up buying The Bully and The Rebel. And I don't know if my copy of the first one is in this stack somewhere. I think it is. Uh, the Air was on sale. And then book three came out. And then it went on sale for like $14. It's originally like 16 or 17. This was 15 and I decided I wanted them because I love the original series. The Brutal Birthright series I love. And this is the Kingmaker series. And these I'm just like obsessed with the design of the cover. And I like how chunky they are. And I just wanted them because they're really pretty. So I bought these for myself. They weren't that expensive. And I also have cash back on my credit card. So I decided to use it on books. Anybody else do that when they get cash back? use it on books. So I got those three. Those are the kids stories of the, the people in the Brutal Birthright series. So I'm going to try. Everybody's been telling me to read the Brutal Birthright series first, all six before I get to that series, which I will. I'm only two books in, but I'll read the four and then I'll get to those three. I'm going to go ahead and get to my Hello Lovely box. This just came in the mail. I am a rep for them. So they do give me a gift card each month to use. So this month I used it on the box, which I'm very excited. It is Carrie and Cole. And you're going to get spoilers in this. So I'll go ahead and tell you the other author is it is Brittany C. Cherry and Becca the owner of Hello Lovely Lou is super excited to tell me that because she knows how much I love both of those authors I especially love Brittany C. Cherry <sighs> Carrie and Cole I really have enjoyed her books and I'm excited I already know what books are in here because everybody online has been freaking out about them so I will go ahead and show you what's in the box I'll go through this quickly though I don't have time to like spend it oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so the first one is uh, a cup, and I'm really excited because she's been getting cups lately, and they're so cute. So this says, grow through what you go through, which is super cute. It's just this plastic cup. I'm assuming there's a straw in here somewhere. Yeah, there is. So it's this little cup, which I love, and look how cute that is. And then we have a lot of, like, fuzzies in here. We have airheads. Yum. I'm excited. Oh, okay, so then we have a koozie, which is so exciting because I use koozies all the time. So we have a koozie, and this says romance melts my heart, which is so, so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, this box is already super exciting just by the items that are in here. And then we always get some ebooks. So, oh my gosh, so we have drag me up by rm virtues this one is the hades and persephone retelling that's literally in my amazon like wish list right now like i always keep track of books i want to own at some point and it's in there and this one's a six dollar ebook so this is very exciting and then we have advice from a jilted bride by piper rain I'm so excited for these. Oh my gosh. I've never been like as excited about the ebooks in here as I am right now. Because that's a book that I really, really, really want. Okay, this is so exciting. Okay, then we have... Oh, yes. Okay, this is... Oh, there's actually glasses in here. It's a glasses case and it says heart eyes and happily ever afters. I'm so excited about literally everything in this box right now. And it has... Oh my god. This is the moment where I wish I wore contacts because these are everything literally everything you guys can i just pretend i have such bad vision too that i can't even pretend to want to wear these but these i i'm so blind i can't see how i look in the viewfinder but let me know how i look <laughs> these are so cute i wish i could wear those maybe i'll see if my sister wants them but i love those those are so so cute i used to wear contacts and so um I would wear sunglasses like all the time and I have tons of heart-shaped sunglasses because I love them but I'm excited for this because I do have prescription sunglasses so I can use this and bring it to the beach with me go faster go faster we have a tote bag and it said <laughs> it says there are books in this bag I love that that can be my new library bag 
that's so funny we are getting so much in this box this is amazing so this is the bigger box because it came with um two books and we have our straw with our cup which i'll put with it and then we always get a chapstick so this one is fearless raspberry lemonade that's exciting i'll put that up there and then we have our two books so i am so obsessed with this box this is oh and we have more okay oh then we have hair ties which are like the little uh spiral stretchy hair ties and then we also have a bath bomb which is sweet berry bubble roll from sos bliss or sos bliss like i always say when i get a bath bomb my sister is going to very much appreciate this because she is the bath taker of the family oh my gosh okay so this is the book that i love from carrie ann cole so i'm very excited for this and it's so pretty oh my oh my god it's so pretty okay so they are all signed as well so this one is tied and this is book two so she was like kidnapped for a very long time and he was scarred and like the hero scarred and he lives in the forest alone people think he's like crazy and so he actually finds her and saves her and then it's their romance so oh my gosh i love it i love it i love it look at that look at that it's so perfect for this book too and then we have like the chapter pages so we have the her for her chapters i'm guessing and then we have the woods for his chapters because he does live in the woods and then this one i actually haven't read before so i'm very excited i do own this one i just haven't gotten around to it by bernice cherry and this one is disgrace <gasps> look how pretty so oh i did not know that so this one is a second chance romance marriage and troubles that i prayed for my husband to love me again every day 15 years together he walked away from me and into the arms of another oh it's not a marriage and trouble she's getting over her husband so it says she wanted him to come back and then jackson emery happened so they were a summer fling and i think they fall in love oh my gosh how have i not read this yet what okay I really want to read this and of course it's also signed so i'm super super excited for this box i don't get every box from them anymore because i get a lot of book boxes and i just feel like i was having too many books so i only buy the book boxes that i'm really really excited for i think like every item in this box is like so amazing like this cup i'm definitely gonna use the koozie is super adorable with making my heart melt we have sunglasses with a carrier that i think is perfect and a tote bag and bubbles and hair ties and chapstick and the airheads which i'm gonna eat after i film this and then our two ebooks so hello lovely hit it out of the park but that's already i've been talking too much about that so now i still have i still have six stacks of books behind me but next i have the bell book box so this is what it looks like it's the beast box they're not doing the beast box anymore they are actually going to focus on only doing two book hardbacks exclusive covers so they're not doing the beast box anymore but i did get the beast box i'm just going to show you guys the books in here i don't have time to go through everything i've already opened this box so that's why i'm not going to go through everything but the first book i have is the heartache duet by jay mclean this one is i'm assuming two books in one um so heartache and hope and look how pretty it includes two full-length novels i just oh i'm assuming it's basketball because that's on the back so this one very very pretty this is their hardback which is what they're going to be focusing on doing then i have nerd by cambria hebert this one's football romance this one was super popular back when like na new adult was like coming out and so i'm excited to have that i also got a copy of 44 chapters about four men which is what sex life is based off of this is bb easton's book this is the published version with uh forever romance i have the original actually somewhere up here because i got it because i got to meet bb a couple times so i got it from those signings but this one um we have and it is signed by her and then this is so pretty it's up in the treehouse by kk allen i read this and i did enjoy it i think it gave it four stars it was very cute they were best friends and she revealed her feelings and he said no and he's a twin yes i read this like three years ago i want to say so it's been a while but it was really good and that's what came in the bell book box it did come with a bunch of other goodies but i don't have time to show you all those because i have so many books to get to so the next book i was sent was a total surprise from the pr company i got lessons in sin by pam godwin which is a priest romance I have not read any priest romance before. I don't know if I'm strong enough to read those, but I have this and it recently came out. I know a bunch of people have read it and absolutely loved it. So 
We'll see. Then I was sent a copy of Too Good To Be Real by Melanie Johnson. This is from St. Martin's Press. It just came out this week and it says Julia's life isn't a romantic comedy yet. She is ready to give up on love and she hates everything. And it says, with impending layoffs threaten her job at a popular website, love becomes a last thing on her mind until she stumbles upon a resort, oh, where couples can live out their rom-com dreams. And so I remember I read the arc synopsis of this. I remember that. And so he's going to meet her there. So this sounds like a lot of fun. They gave me like a keychain too, which I think I put downstairs of the little corgi butt. So I think that's really cute. Then the next three are ones, the last ones I got from Target, which I'm really excited for. We have The Secret by Gianna Darling. This is book two in her Evolutions of Sin series. I get to see Gianna at a signing in February. So I'm trying to collect her books. I just have to get this series and I think that's it that I want of hers. And so this one, I don't know much about it. It's about an affair. That's all I know. This is book two because they didn't have book one on Target website. So I got this one and then I got The Doctor by Nikki Sloan, which I'm very excited for. Nikki Sloan's also going to be at that signing. And so this one is her boyfriend's dad, her ex-boyfriend's dad, and he's a doctor. So I've heard this is great. I've heard book two is even better. And then I also got Twisted Love by Anna Huang. This one I'm super excited for as well. I think that she, he like protects her. He's forced to look after his best friend's sister and they fall in love. And I've heard so many people recommend this to me, so I'm very excited to read this. So I got those three from Target. Then my mom ended up taking me to a bunch of Half Price Books locations to congratulate me for getting my master's. I graduated back in March and we haven't really had time to go yet, so we decided to go together and uh, like a couple weeks ago. And so one of the books I picked out was Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This one is fantasy, that's all I know, and I'm really excited to get to it. I think book two recently came out, so I'm really excited to have this one. I just want to read some more fantasy, so I've heard good things. So I got this at Half Price Books. I also found a copy of The Bridgerton's Happily Ever After, which is the all their epilogues. I could not think of the word. All their epilogues. And so I did not read any of the epilogues because they're like the second epilogues because I didn't want any spoilers of the other books because I've heard their spoilers for the other books in their second epilogues. So I do want to read this soon. I'm excited to have this. I hadn't had it yet, so I finally got it. And then I was, I have like way more that I got from that trip, but they're they're under, they're like the historicals in the sex. So then from the publisher, I was sent Grace and Glory by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I haven't started the series yet because I'm still working my way through the other series that this is a spinoff for because this is Zane's book. Yes, Zane's books. Um, but I haven't finished the other series yet. So I'm excited to read these though. This is book three. It recently came out. The covers are gorgeous. I was also sent Payback's a Witch by Lana Harper. I'm so excited for this one. It's an arc. It comes out in October and this says it's a rom-com. It says that Emmy is a witch and not a very good one. She hasn't been home to her magical town of Thistle Grove in years. She is in exile because of her complicated family history and she wants to forge her own way in the world. And they want revenge on Gareth, so she's gonna help. And I'm pretty sure that this is sapphic. Oh yeah, so this says Adventures of Sabrina meets the L word meets John Tucker must die. And it is queer, so I'm pretty sure that it's sapphic. I don't know for sure though, but I'm very, very excited to read this. Then I got a copy of Isn't It Romantic, which I'm very nervous for because I loved book one of the series and have not liked either books that have come out since then. And this one is the Russian story and I haven't been the biggest fan of how they've been using him in his story because I feel like he's a little over the top. So hopefully they toned it down in this one, but I'm excited to have this. I was also sent a copy of Last Guard by Nalini Singh. This one is book something in this series. Oh, five in this series. So I got to get reading these. I read the first one and I had to catch up. Let's Let's go ahead and move over to this stack here. So these are more books that I was sent from the publisher. So I was sent Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. I'm very excited for this one. This one actually I feel like has I've heard has been making people cry. So she doesn't believe in love and then she I feel like she can see when people break up. Oh yeah so she witnesses a couple kiss and she can see how the romance began and then she can see how it ends and so she doesn't understand why it's happening and then she has to enter this dancing competition with this guy and things happen. So I feel like that's a lot happening at once but I'm very excited to read this. It's not too long but it's so pretty and I have a feeling I'm gonna love this but I've seen a lot of people cry from reading this so we'll see. Then I was sent a copy of Brutal Blue Bud by Becker Gray. This one just showed up at my house and it is book three in a series but I've seen a lot of people reading it recently so I don't know if I can read it as a standalone. It says that he is arrogant and unfeeling. He is British and she's been secretly in love with him for years and she's a scholarship girl so it sounds like it's like a uh, prep school kind of romance or college. I think it's prep school though. It says Pembroke Prep so 
It just came in the mail for me. Then I got a finished copy of The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary, which I'm very excited to read. There's a road trip to Scotland, to a wedding with exes, and romance ensues. I also got Playing the Palace by Paul Rudnick, which I was super excited for, but then I learned it was Fade to Black, so make sure you know that before going into this book, but it is The Crown Prince and a guy from New York. So the New York guy just got out of a relationship because his ex cheated on him. He never thought he'd meet the prince, but he does, and so there is a romance. Then I got a copy of The Insiders by Tijan. I didn't know Tijan had a traditionally published book come out, and I think that this one is... Oh, Elle Kennedy blurbed it and Kylie Scott. I think it's like an action romance. The heroine's a genius. She has a photographic memory and she's in her 20s and someone breaks into her house and tries to take her hostage because her father is a billionaire tech genius who she's idolized her whole life and she learns all this when she meets her father's associate, dark, mysterious, electrifying Cashton. He gives her two choices, go with him and meet her father or survive on her own. So she goes to meet her father. Very interesting. Sounds very out of normal for what Tijan writes, so I'm excited to see what this is about. Then I got The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Holton. I don't know if I'll be reading this though because Lacey just read it and said there's like magic in here with like flying houses but there's literally nothing that says that so it's okay I guess it says it's a fantastical historical romance and in that I thought it meant like whimsical and not like actual fantasy and so there's like pirates and all these crazy things and then like people have said it's bizarre so I don't know if I'll be reading it I'm kind of upset because I was really excited to read it based on the synopsis and it says nothing about those weird things but I don't know. If you've read this, let me know. Then I was also sent The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Burkhall. She's a professional bridesmaid, so I think that sounds like a lot of fun. She's hired by London Bride to be the right-hand woman posing as a friend, working by the behind the scenes to plan the perfect wedding, and then she is hired by Lady Victoria Swan for the Society Wedding of the Year, so it's her chance to prove herself, and I'm assuming she meets someone. I think she starts liking the bride's daughter's brother, which then would just be the bride's son, so... Sounds cute. Then I was sent a Nora Roberts book. I was sent Hideaway by Nora Roberts. I do want to eventually do a Nora Roberts reading vlog just to read Queen Nora's book for the first time. I think I've read J.D. Robb. I don't know if I've read like a Nora Roberts book. So this says that Caitlin was already a Hollywood star at nine and she loved to play hide and seek at her family's home in Big Sur. And during one of those games, she disappeared. Then she escapes and now she's spending years sheltered in Ireland and uh looks like she's gonna get revenge so we'll see so i was actually sent saints and myths which i was really excited for because i was talking about wanting to read misfits in love and i had no idea it was a sequel to saints and misfits and i love this cover that they did for this book i think it's so fun i really love the color scheme of that and it fits really well with this one because they, they redid the paperback so she says there's saints in her world there are misfits and jeremy and her are misfits I think there's like a lot of romances going on. There is a notepad that came with it as well, which is really fun. So I'm excited to have these. Then from source books, I was sent The Lost and Found Necklace by Louisa Lehman. This says it's a charming story of a lost family heirloom, a fresh start, and a legacy of true love. So she's love taking chances, but then a terrible accident. She has now a quiet life. And... She already has a boyfriend, so it says that there's more time for Tim, her dependable boyfriend, who seldom surprises her. She has more time with her family, like her ailing grandmother Nancy, who wants Jess to bring home the lost vintage necklace that has been in the family for generations. So I think she's trying to go find it, and then there's a rival bidder, and she comes face to face with a stranger who has his own reasons for wanting the necklace, and I wonder if she's going to like him not her boyfriend but I really love that cover so we'll see how that goes then I was sent a copy of we can't keep meaning like this by Rachel and Solomon this one sounds super super cute I'm pretty sure both of their families own like different companies in weddings so hers are wedding planners his is a catering company so they're always like around each other and she confessed to having a crush on him in an email and then he went to college without a response and so now he shows up to the first wedding of the summer and they clash immediately so it's their romance this sounds super super cute then i have love scenes by bridget morrissey this one i was sent from Berkeley. So she is an actress and she has to go work in a World War II era romance and she doesn't know that the actor she has to be in love with in the movie is someone that she absolutely 
hates because they had a really bad time working previously together. So, a uh, romance that takes place filming a movie. That sounds fun. I also got a copy of Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. Carrie Winfrey actually is from Columbus, which is where I live, so I think that's really fun. The first book had a lot to do with Columbus. I didn't love it though, Waiting for Tom Hanks. I gave it three stars, so I was hesitant and haven't read anything from her since, but I have very high hopes for this one. Our heroine works at a vintage toy store, and so she loves a children's show hosted by Everett St. James, a man that she finds soothing and cute, and she finds the courage to write to him, and he is drawn to her. So it sounds like an epistolary romance. This one actually sounds very, very adorable and really interesting, so hopefully I enjoy this. Then the last two are books sent to me from the publisher before I get into my historicals. So I have Neon Gods by Katie Robert. It was sent to me from Sourcebooks. This one's Hades and Persephone retelling, and I've heard nothing but rave things about it. So hopefully I really like it too. It's on my TBR for this month, so I have very, very high hopes. And then I have XOXO by Axel. CEO. I'm actually gonna pick this up next after I finish Creatures of the Night. This one, our heroine loves to play the cello. She's a cello prodigy. She met a guy at a karaoke bar and they really hit it off, but now she is going to South Korea for music school. He ends up being there. He's actually in a famous K-pop group and he's not allowed to date, so it's their romance. And it sounds like it's gonna be really, really cute. Um, then I have all my historicals. So all of these... I got a lot of historicals. I've been to Half Price Books a few times. I got some eBay books, so just bear with me. I know it's gonna be a long video, but it's fine. We're almost done. I'm not gonna say the synopses of these historicals. Most of them I bought for the cover or the author, so I'm very excited to read them. We have Secrets of a Summer Night by Lisa Kleypas. I've read this already. I didn't have a paperback copy, and it's got a gorgeous setback. Then I got a Constance O'Banion lot. So I got six of her books. I really bought them for the setbacks. We have Desert Song, which has this gorgeous setback in it. And then we have Highland love song, which of course has me very excited. It's a Highlander romance. Of course I had to get that. Siren song, which has this on a ship. So I needed that too, because you know how much I love ships. La Flame, which has this one. I think it's medieval. It looks amazing. And then we have two that don't have any setbacks. We have Enchantress, which actually the cover of this is really pretty, the old one. And then we have Texas Proud, where she's got a gun on him. So that looks cute. And then I have all of these. So I did get, they had this book in like perfect condition. It is Never Kiss a Duke by Megan Frampton. This one is about a woman who actually owns a gambling den and he works for her. So this one sounds amazing. We have How to Survive a Scandal by Samara Parrish. This is a new release that I just got from Walmart while I was there because I never go to Walmart and I was like, let me look at their books. And they had this one, which is from Forever Romance. So we have that one. I also went to Half Price Books last week and got Love Storm by Judith French. I got it for that cover. No other reason. We know I have that problem. I got Any Rogue Will Do by Bethany Bennett. I think of the new one in the series recently came out, so that's why I picked that one up. I got A Rogue to Remember by Emily Sullivan because I know Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life really enjoy this one, so I really wanted to get that. I got a ghost romance that I found. It is Body and Soul by Susan Crinard. Um, look at that. He is a ghost and they fall in love. I'm so excited to read this. So excited. I also got a Cat Martin book. I got Lover's Gold. I think I have another Cat Martin book over here somewhere. Just really pretty. Everything's embossed. Like, the couple is embossed on the cover, which I think is really cool. I got Passions Wild and Free by Janelle Taylor. Just for the cover, it was two dollars, so I bought this one. I also, from the publisher, was sent The Scott Who Loved Me by Gina Conkle. This one looks really good. I haven't seen the best reviews from my friends, but I'm excited. It's in a new series, and it says a woman is determined to return to the Scottish treasures to the Highlands, and the only man who can help her, the lover she once abandoned. So she has to return things to Scotland with an X. So that sounds really good. I'm excited to read it. I also got Siren Secret by Trish Albright. I was told this was like a historical national treasure. It did come as a library edition, so I'm gonna have to try to take those stickers off. And it's like taped on the back, but it's fine. I got it from their folks. I don't expect too much from them with the experience I've had, but it just looks fun. I was told it was like national treasure, so I had to buy it. And then I got Highland Rose by Katherine Linden with that gorgeous step back. I'm very excited for that one. I also got Midnight Angel by Lisa Kleypas with the step back from Half Price Books for $3. It's so 
pretty. I was so excited to find this. I also decided to buy Highland Guardian because it sounded really fun. She's a romance novelist and she goes to Scotland hoping to overcome her writer's block and then he is a half mortal descendant of fairies and he's been the guardian for more than 600 years and falls in love with her. So I think it's contemporary but he's magic. It was in the paranormal section and so it sounded fun so I bought it. I also got this one because it sounded really good and the back cover is really pretty so it is Tempting Torment by Joe Goodman and this one is the back and it says she became his bride expecting to become his widow yet wanting to be his wife in every way. So I think she marries him and then like leaves him and he doesn't die and he's really angry so he like chases after her. I haven't read this author before, but it sounds really good. I also got this because it's the second book in a series, and I own the first one. I think it's like The Pirate Prince or something. I got Princess by Galen Foley. He's a spy, so that's why I got it. I also got The Duke Buys a Bride by Sophie Jordan. This one is book three in the series. This one is the Duke's story who was in the first book who like got put in a coma. While you were sleeping, she falls in love with the Duke's brother, and this is the Duke that was in a coma that she was in love with. I'm really excited for this. He was also on book two. That's the book that I'm on now, so I'm excited. I also got another Highlander book because I can. I'm trying to take all these stickers off. I also got Seduced by the Highlander by Julian McLean. She's a Highlander author that I want to read more of. So he is a Laird of War. He's Lachlan McDonald. He's conquered so many men on the battlefield and women in the bedroom. Um, so he's virtually undefeated, but unlu one unlucky tryst with a seductive witch has cursed him forever. Any woman he makes love to will be doomed for eternity. I love a good cursed historical. So this one says she has amnesia. That's why I bought it because I read all these synopses. They go out my head as soon as I buy them, but this one sounds so good. I'm excited. This one I was so shocked to find because I didn't own this and of course I'm super excited about it. It is Nightfire by Katherine Coulter and look at the cover. I'm so excited. I don't know what it's about, but um, I bought it because I've been meaning to collect her old ones, and so that's why I have that. But that, that's it. That's all the books. This is going to be such a long video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you watched till the end. I don't know if you did, but I want to give another shout out to Wattpad for sponsoring this video, and I definitely recommend checking this out. It is out now, so check out my link in my description box. Thank you to them again for sponsoring. If you want a good paranormal romance, look at that, how fun that cover is too. It's got like shiny eyes. So it looks even like creepier on the cover, but yes, check it out. That's all I have. Let me know if you've read any of these or what you've hauled recently. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.